filtration process by co-precipitation method. So first we have to measure the exact amount of the solute that is the zinc acetate and sodium hydroxide and then we will dissolve it in the propanol that is isopropyl alcohol. So for this purpose I have selected the 50 ml solution of isopropyl alcohol that is propanol and I am going to make 0.1 molarity solution of uh, zinc acetate as well as sodium hydroxide. So it will be better if you follow the same molarity. If the molarity will be same then the acid base reaction will be much better. So let's start with the calculation part. Just I am going to demonstrate the simple calculation. If you have to calculate that how much gram is required then you will go for the molarity calculation. Molarity is mole per liter. Here I am taking uh, 50 ml. So if you convert it into the liter it will be 0.05. Molarity, I am tuning 0.1 molarity solution. So for this purpose, if you just do the cross multiplication, the number of moles required of zinc acetate will be 0.005 mole solute is required to make a solution of 0.1 molarity in 50 ml propanol or isopropyl alcohol. So for this purpose, if you have to convert it, this mole into the gram, then you have to multiply it with the molecular weight. So this is the molecular weight which is given in the box. So you have to multiply the number of moles into molecular weight. Now this is 1.0975 gram. This much gram of zinc acetate is required to make a solution of 0.1 molarity. Similarly, we can calculate the number of uh, moles as well as the number of gram required for NaOH solution that is sodium hydroxide solution. We will calculate the same in the gram we will convert it and then we will make a solution for this. For the uh, weighing purpose we have this weighing machine you can see here uh, it is very accurate the maximum weight that can be measured is uh, 220 gram and the minimum weight is 0. 1 milligram so it will give you the weighing up to fourth digit so our calculation is also up to fourth digit 1.0975 we can accurately measure you can ignore the last one but be accurate with the third one okay so what you have to do simply is just turn on this weighing machine then uh, there is on off button you have to on off from here then uh, you will put uh, any uh, filter paper or the white paper inside this weighing machine wait until it will stable then go for the tear once you click the tear everything will be zero now whatever you are going to insert with the spatula that will be the exact amount of solute okay so this process will take uh, time that's why i have done it earlier i have uh, taken this much gram of zinc acetate and the specific amount of naoh now i have taken 50 ml solution and i have dissolved it with the help of magnetic stirrer so let's check the magnetic stirrer Here, this is the magnetic stirrer as I have explained. This one is temperature, this one is RPM control. This white portion which is given inside it, this is the magnetic bead. This is the magnetic bead which is going to rotate when we turn on this. So I am going to turn on this. Already I have prepared this solution for uh, 3 hours. The process is completed. The complete solution of zinc acetate is prepared. We have added it and then I have tuned this RPM value up to the maximum. You can take it up to 1200. Okay, let's check this. This is the RPM value 1130, 1140. It will be stable up to 1200. This will show you the RPM value. This is how it will rotate. So depending on this RPM value, if you keep on increasing and decreasing, this solution will keep on rotating fast and slow. This is how the solution will be prepared. Now you can see the transparent solution is prepared here of uh, zinc oxide, the clear and transparent solution. And similarly, I have prepared the solution for sodium hydroxide with the help of this hot plate as well as the magnetic stirrer. This hot plate can reach the temperature up to 250 degrees centigrade. But for the simplicity, we have prepared the solution at the room temperature. So you have to just turn on, turn off this knob and just maintain the RPM value at 1200 RPM or 1100 RPM and then stir it for 2 to 3 hours until the complete dissolution of the precursor. Now I am going to take this, the similar solution is prepared. Now check this, here we have zinc acetate solution, here we have sodium hydroxide solution. Now I am going to explain what is acid and base reaction 
yeah. and how you will get the precipitates so this is zinc acetate which is a acidic solution this is the ph meter as i have explained this is ph 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yellow color red to yellow and on the second page if you go for the litmus paper test this is ph 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so after ph 8 this will be the basic solution up to 1 to 7 this will be the acidic solution so naoh will be obviously acidic solution uh, sorry naoh will be the basic solution and zinc acetate will be acidic solution so i am going to just confirm it with the help of uh, this litmus paper so if you just dip it inside it now you can see the color this is the color and if you match it with this uh, litmus paper uh, given here you can find that it is either 6 or 7 approximately 6 or 7 okay now we will do the same thing for the this uh, sodium hydroxide solution and we will calculate what is the pH value of this sodium hydroxide once you dip it now you can see that the color is changed and if you wish to match it with this you can see that the pH value is approximately in between 10 to 12 greater than 10 approximately 10 for the acid base neutralization reaction we have to maintain the pH value up to 8 so we want this color this light green color so what we will do we will uh, keep on adding few drops of this NOA solution in this and once I will add it you will find that this clear solution which is uh, now clear there will be the fox like uh, precipitation will start once we start adding the basic solution into the acidic one so just check this process i am going to this is the acidic solution this is naoh now i am going to add it check the solution it is clear now now once you add it i am adding one drop two drops can you see that there is a white color white color precipitates is keep on appearing the milky solution the solution will become milky can you see that this is a milky solution now it is not it is not the transparent one okay so if i keep on adding this you can see that the solution become more milky solution more milky solution so the best way is we will keep on adding it and we will keep on checking the ph of this okay so now uh, we can stir it like this or we can add it with a magnetic stirrer now if I check the pH value of uh, this solution you can check that it is more or less approximately 7 you can check that 7 or 8 so the solution is neutralized now because we have uh, we have added some amount of this but still it is acidic in nature because the color is yellow so we will keep on adding it until we get the green color so let me add few more drops and uh, then we will go for the stirring process for a few minutes so that it can completely dissolve now you can see that the solution is not completely transparent but it is lightly milky this is what we call the precipitates now let's check the ph value of this solution okay so it is still yellow that means the ph value is 7 so we will keep on adding few more drops of any OS solution Okay. then we will repeat this process once again so keep on adding the NaOH solution until you get the pH value 8 okay so we will do this process once again we will prepare another solution then add it keep on adding this let's check what is the value right now this value is uh, still 7 we have to add few more solution NaOH solution so we will add it then uh, the final process is you have to left it for 24 hour aging okay you will, uh, we will left it in the room temperature in the room temperature in the atmosphere open atmosphere for uh, 24 hours after uh, reaching the ph 8 value 
then we will filter this precipitate which is the white precipitate through this filter paper this is Wattman filter paper uh, its pore is in the nanometer dimension so micrometer dimension so we will use this funnel for filtering this precipitate through this filter paper okay so uh, we are going to continue this process make more solution adding it then we will left it for 24 hours and then I will show you what will be the result after 24 hours that's all for right now.